Hey guys, welcome to another episode of It's Gaming Fancy. This is Sora Master, and I'm here to bring you a trophy guide for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, the 1.5 HD Remix Edition. Uh, today the guide is going to be on the Gummy Ship missions. They're going to be split up probably into two parts because, uh, you know, length and everything. Uh, the first part is going to entail the first three, first four worlds. And the second part is going to entail uh, Agrabah and on. What that's going to mean is uh, I might be releasing the two parts in different times. So I might only have the first four right now. And you'd have to wait a little bit for the other parts. But um, I might also have that all together. You'll see in the, um, in the annotations whether or not they're there. But um, for now, I uh, hope this helps. This is to help you with the Gummy Ship Collector Guide, or trophy. And along with this, um, I'm going to also give you the uh, how to get that one Gummy Ship coming from um, Agrabah. You'll, uh, you'll see it in the, the picture. I can't remember right now what it's called. But the, this one is really hard to uh, destroy and get the blueprint for. There's all the other blueprints that you can get um, by buying the stuff from Sid or getting from Geppetto. Uh, you have to beat up to 5,000 Heartless to get all the blueprints from Geppetto. Another blueprint is from um, Pinocchio. If you uh, if you enter and leave Geppetto's house 30 times, you'll get a blueprint from Pinocchio. And you'll see in the descriptions below which uh, blueprints I'm talking about. And um, yeah, I hope this helps. If anything, let me know in the uh, comments below. This is the Hollow Bastion Gummy Ship Mission Guide. I'll give you a moment to pick which one you need help with. As always, I'm going to give you a guide on the, what's a good setup for the missions as well as what's a good route. Um, you're limited in this one to a lot less choices and routes than the previous ones, but uh, there's still decisions to be made. Um, you'll see as we get into it. The first mission is set off from Neverland with only Ultima G as a weapon. Destroy 130 or more enemy ships. Um, so this one isn't exactly that difficult. All you gotta do is set up as many Ultimas as you have and make sure you take an Osmos with you. What you gotta do is, um, you know, spam the Ultima and only use Osmos when you know you've got a few uh, magic or special items surrounding you. The Neverland route isn't exactly all that long, but at least in the beginning you do get a good bit amount of a special, uh, the, uh, the asteroids that drop special items. And of course those fill you up. Another good thing to have is the, uh, the reveal dummy because that way you um, you find more of the blue asteroids. The only thing I don't like about Ultima is that it it's kind of like the um, Thundaga gummy. You only shoot it once every like two or three seconds. But uh, finding getting the um, 130 or more ships destroyed isn't something that should weigh too heavily in the uh, difficult portion of your brain. Um, you, you should find yourself getting these fairly easily. Mission 2 is get a score of 1600 or higher. For this one, uh, I recommend that setup that we all know and love by now. It's my basic setup. It's uh, four thunders in the front, along with two ultimas, 
two meteors and two thundaras on the sides. Um, make sure you take your osmos and uh, reveal gummies. They're, uh, you know, obviously going to give you more, a lot more points. The route that I take is the Traverse Town to Neverland route, Traverse Town to Hollow Bastion route, simply because it's one of the longest routes and you get to rack up points. Um, really just destroy everything. This one, although it sounds hard uh, in the sense of like, oh, I gotta get all these points, it really isn't and it's very straightforward. Um, it's just a big number to reach. Uh, I think that near the end I get something like 1653, so it cuts it a little close in, in that regards, but it's not something that should be impossible to do. If you uh, time your Osmos right, you um, the best time to use Osmos is when you know you're about to get replenished with your magic a little bit, but using it any time before that is perfectly okay too. Um, just wiggle that cursor around, destroy everything that you can, and you should be golden before you get to the last stretch, right before Hollow Bastion. Um, you'll find that in the warp section there's a lot more chances of replenishing your magic. Um, anytime you see the special stars, get that Osmos going because it's an automatic refill. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. It's not, it's not something you really need too big of a strategy for. You just have to wait to use Osmos when you're surrounded. That's when you're most, most lucrative with it. And finishing up, I have 1661, so that's pretty good. Um, again, this is something that if you mess up enough, you could miss it. Gummy Ship Mission 3 is... Used haste to 10 or more times without taking damage. No shield or shield 2. And the thing with this is... It's the same technique as the no damage ones before. Make sure you have your uh, transform ready just in case. Um, clear your paths with uh, a good setup in front of you. And you should be good to go. It's not something that would be too difficult to do because the, uh, the haste isn't all that fast. And if you only use it in open areas and if you make sure you hold down X uh, between hastes, it'll give you a better chance of... Uh, of not getting hit as well as make it so that you have more time to um, to use your haste when you're slowing down. Uh, of course the, uh, the transform technique is to uh, save your gummy ship twice and then set the transform to both gummy ships so that when you transform you transform into the same gummy ship. Um, it's not something that should be too terribly difficult. This is actually, uh, in retrospect, this one and, and um, Wonderland are some of the easier ones. The only challenge with this one, again, is uh, not getting hit, which shouldn't be too big of a problem. I don't think... Uh, yeah, I think this is, this is probably one of the easier ones nearing the end. So it's a good way to uh, ease yourself into the, the world that never was gummy ship missions, which are a bitch and a half. Now, if you have the setup that I said, um, you shouldn't find yourself running into too many problems. Uh, not even later on in the, uh, the mission, just because the, uh, most of the lasers will take care of all, any obstacles in your way, as well as the thunder and thundaras. Um, a lot of people don't like Thundera, and I, I've come to, uh, I, I didn't like them at first, but I've come to really appreciate them, because they're powerful, and they they kind of give you a bit of a clearing on the sides as well, so sometimes, you know, you're just aiming forward, you could probably hit up and down a lot easier than left and right, and they, they, they clear your peripheral for you. 
Um, so I, I advocate them. I, I think they're a good uh, brand of gummy to use. And now that we come to the end, you've gotten all the gummy submissions for Hollow Bastion. And the next one is the final one, the land that never was. This is the gummy ship mission guide for the end of the world. I'll give you a moment to pick the one that you need help with. As always, I'm going to give you a guide as to how to set up your gummy ship and what is the best route to take. Um, in this sense, what I mean is the best route within the only route that you can take, which is going from Hollow Bastion. Um, so let's do this. We're almost done, guys, and I hope you I hope this helps. The first mission is use two or fewer gummy blocks and arrive without taking any damage. Uh, this one, the setup that I made for it was <laughs> the I think the only real setup that you can take, which is having a cockpit and a an engine. Um, use the smallest cockpit. It doesn't really matter uh, what defense is if you have life or anything like that, just because. You get one hit, you have to restart it anyways. Uh, this one actually surprisingly isn't all that difficult. Um, the combination of, of uh, one small engine and one cockpit is surprisingly agile, so it's not something that should be too terribly uh, hard to do. The only hard part is when you get near the end and you have all the um, diamond shaped gummy ships that uh, that kind of swarm you near the end. Those are the ones that can get really annoying. Um, staying high is a really good tactic in most of these to avoid getting hit just because uh, a lot of stuff tries to aim for the middle. Um, in the a asteroid belt and everything, staying high is probably one of the better options. Uh, it can be, this is one of the, the funnest missions I think just because it makes you feel like you need to have the skills of dodging and everything it's not so much just hold down X you have to really try to avoid getting any sort of contact on you this is the one that you kind of like hold your breath in at times just gasping and stuff it's, it's, it's definitely the funnest one and um, at least in my opinion and in the end when you're facing the little tunnel and you have to avoid you know just stay in the center you have a little ship. Don't freak out like I did one time. Just tip down a little bit and you should be fine. Gummy Ship Mission 2 is use 5 or fewer gummy blocks and get a score of 350 or higher. This is another fun one and um, a good setup for this is obviously cockpit engine so that's two then you want two thunders so that's three and four and then you want osmos and that's five uh, that's the setup that I, I used it's the most lucrative for me um, you can do something else but this uh, this specific route is very low on magic which is something that's gonna come up in the uh, the next mission so using uh, lasers isn't the best option a uh, good thing to do is to go slow in this one take your time destroy as much as you can only use osmos when uh, you're nicely surrounded by items uh, this one shouldn't be too difficult um, but this is one of the harder mission twos in the game it's uh, comparable to a mission three at some points but You shouldn't have too much of a problem getting up to 400, um, which is well well past the amount. I think I finished up with like 444 or something. Um, the best place to rack up points is, besides the uh, asteroid belt, is the um, the area right after the asteroid belt. You can destroy as much as you can. You get a little bit more chances of using magic, and you can use your osmos to pick stuff up. Again, I think Osmos is the only thing that you should use that uses up your MP just because this is a very sparse area. Um, and as you see, I'm not very liberal with my Osmos throughout most of this and up until the end, so you could definitely get a lot more points 
than what I end up with. So, um, not terribly difficult, but definitely one of the hardest Mission 2's, I guess, out there, besides the Atlantica one. Mission 3 is get a score of 600 or higher. Now this one you gotta pull out all the stops. 600 doesn't sound like a lot, but my god, can it be a... Uh, it could be a real bitch trying to trying to get the score. Um, do the setup that I usually do, which is um, two Thundaras, four Thunders, two Ultimas, and two Meteors. This is the one that gives me the best result. You could always have your own. That's just my opinion. And um, really, uh, really abuse the X button on this one. Go slow, go around and pick stuff up. Uh, if it helps, have a bigger ship just so that it covers more area and you can pick more stuff up. Um, be very careful when you use your Osmos and your lasers uh, because, like I said in the previous one, this one, uh, this mission is, uh, or this path is very sparse on MP restorative items. So this is something that you wanna, you wanna make sure you're focusing on on uh, reserving your your MP as much as possible. I put the radar on just so that I know when I'm surrounded enough by items to, to use an Osmos. You'll, uh, when you have the green dots all around you and you use Osmos, it's a nice feeling seeing all of them just coming right at you. Um, in the beginning I, I sort of abused the uh, MP a lot, but you'll find as soon as I get into the asteroid belt that is this is something that stops. Uh, asteroid belt, best thing to do is just use your uh, your guns and maybe once every like five or six seconds use a, a laser once you uh, target enough things. You really don't want to um, waste your MP here. Uh, and you can very easily find yourself without MP nearing the end of this and, and kicking yourself in the butt for not say, saving it up. Asteroid belt, make sure you hold down that X the whole entire time. Um, again, be very careful when you're uh, doing Osmos or your laser attacks. Uh, but this one, this one, the only difficulty about it is actually, you know, those last like 20 points that, that seem like impossible to get sometimes. Other than that, this is a one of uh, one of the straightforward missions in the game, but this is definitely one of the harder ones. Uh, just just because I think the the biggest problem is the lack of of MP restorative items in this path. Once you get past the asteroid belt, though, and you're into the uh, the little yellow path with all the obstacles, destroy as many of the obstacles as you can. Aim for them. Those are those are the uh, the secret weapons that I, I consider in this. Um, those are the things that you really want to aim for. Obviously the ships, but the ships are easier to destroy. If you can get rid of a lot of those obstacles, that's, uh, that's a good bit of points right there. Um, also in, the, in, the, in that area, with all the obstacles, you have more of a chance of finding um, powers, uh, uh, the uh, power gummies to restore your MP. So that's something that you uh, you want to focus on as well. Only use your Osmos when you see those, or when you have a good group of items around you. Getting past the obstacle course, which is what I should call it from now on, is uh, is the best place to use magic because you have a lot of the blue uh, asteroids coming up, and you also have a lot of ships that you can destroy to your left and to your right. If you were going slow, you'll find that um, the, the ships to your left are a little bit further past, so you might want to speed up going past the uh, the green area. Um, so spam the lasers, destroy as much as you can, and get up there so you can get those those ships, get all the points that you can. Remember, you have you're going to have a lot more um, MP near in the end, and when you get into the area with the diamond shaped gummies. You um, try to focus on one at a time, try to destroy as many of those as you can, because this is another way to um, rack up points that a lot of people just try to 
destroy one or two. You can get you can get a good amount of these destroyed. Coming out of the field with the Omega Gummies, you should have around 530, 540, uh, once you start destroying the, the asteroids. And this is where um, the big boost of points comes around. Um, a whole bunch of magic, a whole bunch of ships, go crazy with the Osmos and the lasers, it's the last stretch. And you should find yourself having well over the amount that you need. I, iron oh, not ironically, but strangely enough, have 666. And this is the end. You have gotten all of the gummy ship missions completed. And you see Chippendale very happy for you. Congratulations. And you also you get a gummy for that. It's a little crown. And I hope this helped, guys. I hope this uh, made it easier for you for the gummy ships. At any point, you can click... To go back to the beginning to um, select another gummy ship mission or just go back in the uh, timeline check out our other guides I have the um, Dalmatian guide here I got a boss guide with Phantom and Sephiroth here um, the story guide and for watching this till the end uh, you can click this link right here for a funny little video. I might put this in another one, but this is just for the people who uh, stuck it out through me talking through this last little bit. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Again, I hope this really helped you. And as always, stay fancy.